Until recently, there were sun lounges and umbrellas on these Crimean beaches. Now the 25-kilometer coastline is littered with defensive structures that the Russian military has installed. Rows of pyramid-shaped concrete blocks known as Dragon's Teeth are supposed to block the way for tanks and other military equipment. Behind them is a line of trenches designed to provide shelter from the onset of Ukrainian troops. The fortifications are likely in place to deter any bold Ukrainian operations to attack Crimea via the sea rather than on land. Lala Guest, intelligence analyst in an interview with BBC. The American newspaper The Washington Post writes that Russia has turned the Crimean Peninsula into one of the most fortified territories. However, this will not prevent Ukrainian troops from liberating Russian-occupied Crimea, according to the president Volodymyr Zelensky. They are already thinking about the defense of the territories they occupied. This is another wave of this war. This is not an easy wave for us either, because we understand that their persistence on the battlefield, which was from the beginning, is broken by our forces. And today they are digging in, making defensive lines. It will be difficult for us. It will be very difficult. But this is already the second part. The Russians also strengthened the border with the Belgorod region. Trenches were dug there too and dragon's teeth were also placed. Almost $119 million was spent on these defensive structures. But the Kremlin turned out to be powerless in front of the Russian volunteer formations that are fighting on the side of Ukraine. They freely crossed the border in the Belgorod region. Well, mates, here it happened. The Russian volunteer corps crossed the state border of the Russian Federation. The proof is right behind me. This was in March 2023. The situation repeated itself at the end of May. We did the impossible again. We are back at home. The proof is right behind me. This suggests that the part of the barrier land both in the Bryansk and Belgorod regions turned out to be useless, according to British military intelligence. Although since the summer of 2022, Russia has built one of the largest fortification systems in the world in recent decades. Now the Ukrainian armed forces are conducting the first phase of their offensive operation and are looking for weak spots in the defensive positions of the Russian operation forces, the chief of the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center says. The initiative is obviously in the hands of the armed forces of Ukraine, which means that they get to pick the time, place and means by which they will attack the enemy's units. Margo Grosberg, chief of the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center, in an interview with Estonian public broadcasting service ERR. Ukraine is already on its way to the liberation of Crimea, according to Ben Hodges, former commander of the U.S. ground forces in Europe. According to the general, the armed forces of Ukraine put pressure on the defense of the Russian Federation and confused the enemy as to where and how the main offensive will continue. Reported by Diana Kulasnik, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stanhelov, UATV News.